So this is just a quick video. Uh, I'm showing you some new techniques for allowing you to debug uh, SolidWorks uh, add-in on the fly without having to close SolidWorks. So there's been a recent uh, post on the forums where it seems like a lot of people are interested in being able to uh, edit code, you know, like edit your code in your add-in without closing SolidWorks. So I made a really quick uh, modification to Solid DNA to allow this. I won't bother going over recreating the whole application. Uh, I basically copied the previous tutorial, number four, copy and pasted the whole thing and just renamed the classes. And then I simply moved out the Solid DNA integration class and left the add in part in a separate uh, add in here. And then in the separate one, so these were a single. Um, project I split the projects out into two so this was the new empty project I opened up the custom properties plugin and I then just removed from the top of this class this bit of code so this bit of code was just in here all as one like every previous tutorial and this function here didn't exist so I simply cut this out created this new class project and then pasted this in to the new class project and just give it a different name so this one was called solid DNA add an integration and the other one custom properties just so they've got a unique name um, and then I added this overload which is now a new thing so instead of automatically loading um, plugins you now have to specify explicitly which ones you want so you can do that with a now a path to a file if you want to have them so you can unload them fully and edit the code or if you just prefer to reference them directly uh, say this project has a reference to the main add in the main plugin I could then just do plugin integration dot add plugin and the type of custom property CL, uh, DNA plugin which is just this this plugin here and that would load how it originally loaded and then you couldn't fully unload to debug or you can just go and type the name of the DLL this DLL has to go into the same location as the main loader so the the place where your add-in integration DLL gets compiled which if you right click here and go properties you go to build you can see bin debug so that basically is if you right click the project itself and open folder in file explorer and then you go to bin debug this is now your path where you have to also place this main project so you'll see the main project is here so in order to fix where the DLL for this gets output simply right click properties and then in the build you can see we've stepped up one folder and then gone into the solid DNA dynamic load plugin which is this folder here so we've basically started in here which is the default we've stepped up with the two dots then we've gone into this folder and then it's bin and debug so that you can see that it ends up outputting in the main this main folder so this compiles into this folder um, beyond that once you've created this uh, new project here don't forget to make sure uh, you have make com assembly visible and then make sure to also use the add-in installer tool to register both of these DLLs because this one's your add-in for SOLIDWORKS and this separate add-in contains your um, task pane user host control which needs registering by com as well so you go ahead and register both of those and then um, that's effectively all there is to it. So other than moving out this this class and adding this code here and then making sure that these compile to the same folder, uh, everything else is the same as the last tutorial. So that's why I'm not going to go over a specific, you know, doing this from the start again because it's just a minor tweak. So we've done those two. Uh, we haven't changed anything else in here from the last tutorial. Uh, everything else we've changed like the text here just so we know it's different you know but no functional changes so 
that's that. Um, we then want to specify, you can see I've specified my exact path here to the file and this is so that I can load and unload without having any reference in this um, this add-in. So whatever this add-in references um, then it's going to be stuck in the SOLIDWORKS app domain and you won't be able to unload. So by just explicitly telling it where the file is we get around that limitation. So to get that file path just right click on the loader um, plug in, open folder in File Explorer, go to bin debug where you've seen these files and then this is the file we want to load, this is the add-in of this project here. Hold shift, right click, copy as path and then in here you just put the letter at and then paste and that gives you the, the location of that file. Now we just press F5 so again if you've gone to the properties of this plugin uh, like the previous ones and then the debug we've told it to start SOLIDWORKS as the external program then you can just press F5 to start the program so let's do that and let's check that this add-in loads so you can see it's just loading there and then you can see it's now here solid DNA dynamic load plugin so that's exactly the same uh, add-in as the last tutorial uh, I've opened this modules window which is debug windows modules and then sort by name and you can now go and scroll down to the name of the DLL we loaded which is here solid DNA dynamic load plugin and you can see that we've got an app domain over here and you can basically see the only place this main is loaded in this solid DNA plugin domain so we're now in full control so when we go to unload the plugin so let's just do that in SOLIDWORKS we just uncheck to unload. You'll see it disappears from there, but also you'll notice now it's no longer in here. Only the the DLL for this load plugin is still in. So what that means now is we can go ahead and instead of just stopping, which will close SolidWorks, and just go debug, detach all. That will leave SolidWorks running here. Now we can go ahead and change the code in this main. Um, it's free to be edited, so we can go ahead and type solid DNA new. And that's it, it's built. If you have any trouble building this, it might be because you've accidentally changed one of these two um, sets of code. So if you do that, you have to restart SOLIDWORKS. However, these two are, this is the solid DNA library, and this is just a blank loader that does nothing more than this bit of code here. So once those two are done, which effectively are almost all the time, you shouldn't have to uh, reload SOLIDWORKS because they don't change. Uh, even if they do, and you want to say carry on debugging anyway, just right click on your solution, configuration manager, and simply uncheck these two here, so that they don't even build anyway. And just bear in mind to recheck those afterwards in case you change code that you actually want to build. Um, so just build, and that's fine. Uh, and then now to reattach and start debugging, or you know to see this now new DLL, I just go to debug and attach to process instead of pressing F5 and just attach to the running SOLIDWORKS instance. And now we're attached, we should see that um, we've still got the load plugin because that never unloaded. Just go to tools, add in, solid DNA and OK. And this will load in and you can see you've got the new title now because that's the new code. So let's do that once more, just so you understand um, how it goes nice and quickly. So, tools, add-ins, unload. That removes. Back in Visual Studio, detach all. Change this to new exclamation, control build, debug, attach process. Jump back to the SOLIDWORKS process. Go back to SOLIDWORKS, Tools, Add-ins, and click to load, and then OK. And you'll load in the new DLL with the new text. So you can see you can effectively uh, debug on the fly. You can you know, detach from debugger, change your code, um, and then reload. And that's as simple as that. Now, to make it even cleaner, uh, you could just extend this ever so slightly and maybe make a, a plug-in loader 
that just has uh, a button that asks for a, a, you know an add-in or a plug-in to load and then from that uh, you could call um, let's have a look at the code so yeah so I'll actually make a little bit more code inside solid DNA to support that type of loading so that you can have sort of a um, an add-in that just adds a nice quick button on the menu to load and unload the add-in nice and quickly uh, but for the purposes of um, you know proving the point of being able to edit uh, your main plug-in code without restarting SolidWorks it's all now integrated into solid DNA uh, so we'll do a bit more on this uh, further down the line uh, you know once we need to but this was just mainly to fulfill the needs of people that were um, wanting to do this type of thing to you know find it useful to be able to carry on changing code without restarting the whole of SolidWorks every time so nice short video but I hope you found it useful mm -hmm.